Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another quick video from 4GQ TV. I'm Carlo. This is Paul, aka Cerebral Paul, the guy who does not like pineapples next to me. Right. If you put it on his pizza, he will throw it in the trash can. But we're back with. Or, or throw it on you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back with some more news here. Uh, and it's kind of interesting. So, just right after Gavin Newsom signs those laws, Lionsgate inks a deal with Runway AI to kind of feed it its library for its massive film and TV uh, footage that they have in hopes that this will help them cut costs to add some scenes in or do some things, whatever they do with it. It's, you know, obviously it's up to them. But it is a curious thing that this was just signed after Gavin Newsom signed those laws in California. So I am not sure what the plan is here, uh, but I'll read you a quote from the article that is from The Hollywood Reporter. And this is a quote down the page. Uh, so <laughs> it says, Runway is a visionary best-in-class partner who will help us ut utilize AI to develop cutting-edge, capital-efficient content creation opportunities, said Burns. Several of our filmmakers are already excited about its potential application to their pre-production and post-production process. We view AI as a great tool for augmenting, enhancing, and supplementing our current operations. Now, as long as it doesn't replace human jobs, I'm okay with it. But when it starts replacing humans in certain aspects of whatever they do, it becomes a little worrisome because there's a lot of people that count on these jobs and this income. And also before I let Paul take the floor, I wanna put this thought in his head as well as yours who's watching the video. If Hollywood is gonna sign these laws, it's only a matter of time before big comic publishers sign similar agreements. Did I say laws before I meant agreements? You said if, laws, you meant agreements or deals, yes. Yes, yes. So it's only a matter of time before they sign those as well. And then what are comic book artists gonna do? Are they gonna, how are they gonna stick up and fight? You know, so Paul, take it away. Let me know your thoughts. But by the way, I do want to point out to people who may not have caught it. One of the things they said in that quote was, was capital efficient. What that means is cheap capital is money. To them. Also, Lionsgate is the uh, the filmmakers behind John Wick and The Hunger Games. So imagine that AI scripted movie, John Wick goes to the Hunter Hunger Games. What a great sequel that would be, right? Because according to what I'm reading here, and I, I got mine from, where did I get it? The Hollywood Reporter, same article. Lionsgate has given access to their entire film library to this company to do what they will for AI. This could either be, I mean, if it's used correctly, it could be great. If it, if it's abused, we're going to see a bunch of crap hit the screen. Not real clear on what they what they intend to do with it. They did say pre-production, post-production. I'm thinking pre-production, they're actually going to use the, this thing to maybe help them write scripts based on what's already been the, in there. So yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I think scripts and things like that, you can use AI to assist but I still think the most creative stuff comes from actual human workers, human writers. I'm, uh, to use a big word, I'm trepidatious about this. I don't know that it will work out well. And in a way, I hope it doesn't because I don't want the creative industries to start le leaning on AI, AI so much that they stop being creative. I think it's important to keep that that human creative side going. Well, to everybody watching, let us know in the comments below. Well, everybody, till next time, see you guys later, and thanks for watching. Celebrity Pineapple Pizza Paul, out. <laughs>